Hi everyone and welcome back to the April Tournament Round 3. Today we have Ski vs Preston John. Now these are two shorter games. I have no idea why they're short, I've not watched them, so we're in for a surprise of some description. It could be a Ski Special Disconnect, because he does like doing that. But at the moment, on the right hand side we have Preston John playing as the 39th Infantry Division for Pact, and then on the left hand side in red we have Ski playing as the 5th Panzer Division. No commanders on the field that I can see right, oh there is an infantry commander there for Ski, but just the usual meeting of the recon units in the centre. Down here, Preston John hasn't pushed too far, got some red vets up there. It's always a bit of a debate how far you push. Up here, Ski was slightly more at the top there. One BRM1 will probably kill that looks. Yeah. One dead looks. Ski already capped that middle point. Presta John appears to be focusing on these lower points rather than the center. Just has a few recon units in there. Has now detoured those Motostrelkies. Down here. A lot of units coming in. Lots of Motostrelki. I think his intention is to push into this point. Honestly, Ski doesn't have a lot there. He's got the M48s at the back. Marder there, which will certainly do some damage. Motostrelki Metis. In a BMP-1P. I'm just wondering what his plan is here. T-80BV back there. Taking out the vehicle on the road. Very good use of that tank. Tornado IDS MW1 coming in. I assume going to be bombing this town. Oops. Zoomed in a bit too far. Sorry, the forest, not the town. Oh, second one coming in. A lot of damage done there. A lot of damage. That was a uh, very nice strike by Ski. More reinforcements are coming in for Preston John though. But the middle is very much in Ski's hand. And Ski is now pushing his forces across the bottom here. Probably to try and cut off the reinforcements and encircle these troops. Really good use of the M48s. That tank's a little bit on its own there. It does have some infantry protecting it this side. A lot of fire coming out of those martyrs. Oof. ATGM jet coming in to take out the M48, I assume. No, going for the Jeopard. Got it. But it's taking fire from other units. And it's down. That was an expensive loss. Motostrelki coming in as well. Let's see if we can zoom in and have a look. Everything's in the forests. Oof. Oh, it actually survived that. I thought it was dead. The explosions are quite nice when you zoom right in. Zoom back out before I miss something important. Right, Vetska going around the back for Preston John at the bottom here. Loads more units coming across, and that's... So that was surrendered by Preston John. Obviously, the big difference in kills to losses there, but very early game surrender from Preston John. Well, let's move on to the second game and see what happens there. Welcome back to this second game. Ski versus Preston John. Ski sticking as the 5th Panzer Division and Preston John sticking as the 39th Infantry. Switch sides though. Ski red on the right, Preston John blue on the left. 
So similar maneuver to last time, though a lot less units coming down to golf for Preston John. He sent quite a lot of units right up to the top above Bravo, which is an interesting move. In the center, not a huge amount of units. Preston John got there first, has managed to kill some of the recon from Ski. M48's coming in there, quite a lot of reinforcements coming in at the center for Ski. Looks, a couple of Jaeger Alf calls there. Hmm. Still a commander again for Ski, early doors. No commander by the looks of it for Prester John. He's bringing in a T64 and a T80BV at the top as well. He's bringing in a lot of units at the top here. I, I assume he's planning to push around the top and into the center. Leopard 1A5's there. I'm impressed by the amount the Ski has actually brought in here. Very little at the bottom again. Obviously wasn't particularly worried about getting hit down there. Lots of fire support coming in. That's a Marder. And one of the tanks firing each other with missiles. Not sure they're going to get any good kills. Oh, there's the Marda dead. The T-80 took a bit of damage, though. It's taking damage from that Leopard, but the Leopard will not survive long against a T-80. Although there are two Leopards. T-80 has smoked over here. I think Preston John does have the upper hand, but he needs to keep moving. Loads of units in the middle here. More Marders will be very effective against the tanks. The T-64 is taking a lot of damage as well. Another T-80 BV at the top there, though, has also taken a lot of damage. I'm a little bit concerned that Preston John's going all in here with his tanks. Although these guys are out of missiles, so he's probably okay. Not a lot happening at the bottom of the map. A few reinforcements coming in there. Leopard 2A3 will make a mess of those tanks if John doesn't repair his. So John's... Uh, got an advantage here. He's pushing ahead pretty well. So that little maneuver at the top has been successful. Though he's going to be in trouble at the bottom because he literally has one Radzvedska there. And he's bringing in all his reinforcements towards the center. I do feel like Preston John also spent a lot of resources taking this area up here which doesn't have any points in it. He really is bringing in repair truck so that's helpful because he really needs to repair those tanks at the moment the problem in this game is supplies either on or off you can't turn off fuel supply and fuel supply we think seems to drain them really quickly so bringing in one might not actually be enough it's only got a thousand supply leopard 2 f3 there Two Leopard 1F5s. Preston John's doing okay, but he needs to push that advantage. And unfortunately, because those tanks are so heavily damaged, he can't really push them right now. And that 2A3 will cause him all kinds of issues until they're repaired. And even then, the 2A3 is a very good tank. But let's just have a look at this. So... That's down to 600 already. And it's repaired the T-80. The T-64 must have died. He's got two more T-80s coming in. Shame to lose a T-64. It's a good tank. Look at how fast that drains. It's gone. That one's fully repaired. That one's got maybe two pips of health. Three pips, four pips. Okay. It's going to be better than it was it might actually just do it 
I'm I'm genuinely impressed that managed to repair both those tanks. He is bringing in more luck. He did he did wonder the same. Little lineup of tanks and things for Ski. I mean, he's still firmly in control at this point. Preston John hasn't brought in any command vehicles currently. Ski at plus five has command in all three points. ATGM playing there. Not sure what he, he does like bringing them in, Preston John. He's going for that Milan. That's going to be an expensive loss again because it's going to go up against an entire air defense line. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And if you're going to lose a plane like that, then you lose it trying to take out a 2A3. And that Ski seen his opportunity. That plane is now out of action. That means that John has less anti-tank, so he can play with his Leopard 2A3s, of which he's got two now. He's calling in some mortars as well. Not something we've seen used that much in these games, to be honest. Preston John kind of pushing a little bit down here. Making good use of tanks for fire support. See, it's difficult because right now it does feel as though Preston John has more cards on the table. However, Ski has two Leopard 2A3s. And that's like having a couple of cards. Now, the T80s are very good. That Alouette is getting wrecked. That Leopard 1A5 wouldn't stand a chance against those two at T80s, but I guess the building's in the way. Ski moving his Leopards around to this side. But Ski's at plus seven. And Preston John still hasn't brought in any command vehicles. I mean, Ski could win this on points. He's already ha over halfway there. Really good use of the T-80s down here for fire support against these infantry coming in. But you need to keep that fire up. Those pioneers got all the way around the back there. I suppose we'll kill anything that comes along that road. And the weapons are turned on. Those mortars have arrived. I'm curious what Ski is going to do with those mortars. Still no command. There's issue rungs and things coming in for Ski. I wonder if Ski is planning to possibly push Golf as well. These Leopard 2A3s. And Zisharung seemingly pushing John back a little bit from where he'd advanced to. 2A3s super effective. Oh, that's one T80 down. Though he could do with repairing that Leopard. Now up here on the other hand, Preston John pushing forward. But he's kind of stalling there. He needs to push. Push man, push. You could so easily kill that commander. But Ski's going to win on points here. There's finally a command coming in for John. But it could be too little too late. I mean, I do see that Preston John has a vehicle around here somehow. I didn't even see that get there. But he's not even using it to kill the little vehicle. Look at this control here. It's great. He's got great control of this point. He's pushing and pushing and pushing, but he needs to push faster. Those commanders have escaped. They're out of the way now. He's got another ATGM plane. He seems to really like them. I assume this is for the leopards, but... Ski's not going to poke his leopard out while that ATGM plane is there. Those Zishirungs went to the centre, not to the bottom. Still plus seven. Preston John's going to drop that to plus five. But I mean, he's still, he's almost won. But I feel like Preston John is doing such a good job in the middle in the grand scheme of things. Though he's throwing a couple of units away just by charging them forward here. I assume he's trying to hunt for that commander, but he's, he's not going to find it. If he'd moved faster through that forest, he'd have had it. That's such a shame. 
such a shame. So I think this is going to be game to ski. That ATGM plane is just getting shot down. Did it even fire at anything? I'm confused. I feel so sorry for John here. It's now plus three. Rather than... Ah, he's managed to kill the command vehicle down here. Well done, Presta. Well done. That's what we needed to see. But it's still plus three. He still won. You would have needed a commander in here to counter it. I mean, he's rushing commanders in now, but it's too late. That's game. Oh, Prester John, you were doing... Can I just say you were doing so well? I'm really disappointed for you that you didn't have those commanders in earlier. Because, honestly, I think you were causing Ski a lot of issues. I think he was starting to struggle a bit there. Look at how close the kills to losses are in this game. That is so tight. Ski won this purely on command points. I so wish you had got those command vehicles in earlier, Preston John, because I think you could have had that game. I genuinely think you could have had that game. I think Ski was struggling a bit in the centre there. I think you had the upper hand because you managed to swing around the top. A little bit slow, but you got there. That's such a shame. Leopard 2A3 showing its power. 1, 2, 3, 4 T80 BVs killed by that Leopard 2A3. Another Leopard 2A3 with multiple kills. Another Leopard 2A3 with multiple kills. On the other side, in fairness, T80 BV, multiple kills. Motostrucky Metis did a pretty good job as well. Killed a Leopard 1A5. T64 BV didn't last very long, but did some damage. Again, T80 BV, loads of damage. If you play well with your big tanks, you will kill a lot of stuff. Make sure you play carefully with them. Make sure you keep them healed, but they can be very powerful units. Well, that's these two games. Certainly this one to ski. The last one, I assume, to ski as well. So, well played, guys. Really disappointed for Preston John in that second game. I honestly think he could have had that if he just had those command vehicles in sooner. But that's life. Hopefully, next round, we'll see Preston John push through and defeat his enemy. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.